I've got a very good feeling about this one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to File Destined. Can this last case of Oliver all be just a small part of a bigger picture? Gather clues, unravel the mystery behind the case, and uncover the truth. In the end, the truth may be quite disturbing and different than what you expected. I think we're playing as a detective trying to solve a murder case. And, uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Liz. Welcome to the crime scene simulation, Oliver. Thanks for stating the obvious, Liz. I will be helping you throughout the simulation. The place you are about to enter is, simply put, a virtual reality. You won't get hurt in any ways, and even when you make a mistake, we can start all over again. Hmm. <laughs> are you sure I won't get hurt, Liz? The place you are about to enter is, simply put, a virtual reality. You won't get hurt in any ways, and even when you make a mistake, we can start all over again. Jeez, I was just kidding, Liz. Relax. Thanks to our advanced technology, we are able to solve unsolved murders by simulating the crime scene. Okay. Uh, hey, Liz? Yes, Oliver? Let's just determine a safe word for us just in case, okay? Look, um, I don't know, teddy bear? Okay, Oliver, teddy bear it is. <clears throat> Thank you. I'm now simulating the file assigned to you to solve your mystery of the murder, the file D. Oh. You may have to look closely to see some details. Oh my god, this looks crazy. Okay, tutorial. Congratulations, you now know how to see details. Oh. There may be some evidences behind closed doors, in drawers or cabinets. You have to make sure you check everywhere for the evidence. Also, I have left a present in the drawer for you. Please tell me that present is a flashlight. Or... Okay, press E to open the drawer. Wait, what drawer are we talking about? Could it be this one here? Good. Looks like you opened the drawer. There should be a lighter there for you to examine. Oh, it's a lighter. Please take the lighter to inspect. This looks like an object of evidence. You should carefully examine the objects of evidence. Really? This is very sophisticated. The U.S. Police Department of Defense. The engraving on top of it hints that uh, this belongs to Oliver Hamilton from Ohio Police Department. So this is my lighter. We'll go ahead and add that to our inventory. I'm adding this item to your inventory now for you to use. That's great. This is my lighter. Feels good to have something of my own here. Alright, so swipe down on... Or press L key to ignite the lighter. Swipe down. Remember, if you turn too fast or if you keep it burning for a long time, it may leave you in the dark. What? Also, you can see the evidences you found and take a look at them again just in case you miss something. Okay, how do I turn it off? Um, press I to open up the inventory. Lastly, you can take a look at the notes you took and review your thoughts on the events here. Press J to open up the journal. Okay. So, Agency Oliver Hamilton. Hey, Liz, are you there? Liz, are you there? Shit, shit. Teddy I was bear. just kidding, Oliver. Oh. <laughs> you got me this time. Uh, let's get this over with. Okay, so... How do I turn off the lighter? Because... It's not letting me turn off the lighter. And she said quite clearly that if I have it on for too long, it might just get put out. Oh, fuck. All right, anyways, let's uh, let's interact with some of the evidence here. So, insignificant, a package used to temporarily store evidence. There are lots of these around. That is insignificant. We've got some bolt cutters, wire cutters. A wire cutter in which uh, only a cable can be cut. If it was something bigger, I could use it. could break locks. Okay, so I don't know if I can actually 
Some things you cannot store in your inventory, it seems. We've got some sunglasses here. Fancy looking glasses. I can imagine one of the doctors wearing this. I still don't know where we're at. I know we're some sort of simulation, but I feel like this is going to go wrong. Police tape. The police conducted an investigation here before, but did they not find uh but they didn't find much evidence. The team has covered some areas with this tape in order to protect the evidence, but it seems to have done more harm than good. Lighter gas. It is used to refill the lighter. It is out of gas. Okay, insignificant a package. Okay, we'll put that away. Insignificant a package used to probably store evidence. Put that away. We've got a can. Another insignificant item. I guess it's time to get to work, huh? <laughs> Just go right in through the do not cross crime scene. It's a simulation, but I'm, I'm, I'm calling it already. I've played way too many of these games to know things are about to go in. Like, take a look at this. A wheelchair. The first thing we find. Well, that much confirms this is, in fact, a hospital. What do we have here? A ballpoint pen. Okay, that's insignificant. I don't know if the insignificant items are also... Bag. Of course, the cops weren't able to find anything useful. Hmm. I don't know if the insignificant items are going to do anything for us. Maybe they're just filler, but I'll try to interact with as much things as possible. Man, this looks like crazy realistic. It is done with Unreal Engine. must be somewhere around here. It is done with Unreal Engine 5, so that much is interesting. Really curious to see where this goes. All right. A saw. I don't know why you need a saw in a hospital, honestly. I don't want to know why. Hmm. Bandage? A wound dressing. Maybe the most standard item available in the hospital. And a medical device. I do not know what this is. And we'll keep going. Man, the scenery is crazy. So here we have a handwritten... Uh, or a hand, the handwriting is unreadable, but I don't think it's a big deal. It must belong to one of the secretaries here. Okay, we've got a syringe. We've got the surgery room. And this is... The janitor's closet, maybe? I don't like how we have to keep refueling our lighter. I really do hope this is not a problem. Bag of cigarettes. An old brand from the look of it. Hmm. A very old brand of cigarette. They no longer produce this brand. I guess this is the hospital. It does everything that is not beneficial to human health. <laughs> Seriously. Medical scissors. Doctors usually use them to cut bandages. Okay. We'll just keep going here. Go ahead and open this up. Hmm, a pile of medical instruments. It contains a stethoscope, blood pressure monitor, and the thermometer. Or a thermometer. Thermometer. Well, I guess practically, technically, you can say that, right? It looks like a doctor's starter kit. Go ahead and close these up. It's a lot of insignificant crap here. Hmm, a hand crank. Okay, another saw. Hmm, there's a lot. Why is there so much, like, insignificant items? This is kind of throwing me off here. Is there a way that I can distinguish the significant from the insignificant? I mean, I'm trying my best to do a thorough analysis of the area here. I don't want to miss anything. But I don't think we've we found anything important at, at, as of late. Everything we've been taking a look at has been either fuel for my lighter and insignificant items. Yeah, shit, it's locked. And more locked doors. Phenomenal. Oh, welcome to the toilet room, boys and girls. Ooh. Looks like the hospital was undergoing some renovations at the time, but uh, can also be f used for an assault. So why not grab it? I don't even want to know what kind of experimental medication they gave to the people here. Really? A syrup bottle without a name or any description on it. 
Were they worried about revealing what drugs were given to the patients? Nothing that might have happened at this hospital would surprise me. I'm pretty sure they were trying to just drug the patients here. Okay, hold on. Got the bathroom stall, more syringes. A lot of needles. Could have been used for many reasons, good or bad. Ah, shit, it's locked. Uh, we've got more locked doors. Room number 36. What do we have here? A sculpture, insignificant. A statue. I don't know who this is. Maybe... Hypocrite... Hypocrites? <laughs> Hippocrates? Hippocrates? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but please don't hurt me. Okay, we're gonna go. Actually, you know what? No. So check this out. You have to press 1 to open and close the lid, and then the scroll wheel to turn on the lighter. That is so crazy. Oh, God. Shit. Okay, here we go. Room 34. We've got the keys to room 34. Mm hmm. There must be something that I'm missing. What the fuck? Seriously? Okay, we'll come back over here. We still haven't spotted any sort of demonic entities or what have you, but that's good. We don't want to. We, we don't want to do all that. It's too much. <laughs> Is anyone there? What? A baby? We just freaking started! Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, heck no! No! Ooh! More police tape. Insignificant. Let me turn off the lighter, because... A bullet. Find the evidence. 357 Magnum bullet. Fits in multiple firearms. The gun that was used may not be far from here. Oh! Oh! Hi! Hello? Who closed the door? You've got to be kidding me. We're locked in here. <gasps> Ooh. Teddy bear? Isn't that the, wasn't that supposed to be the safe code we had with this sort of AI? What a surprising item. A bat. We've got a clock. Clock written in Roman numerals. I think the battery is dead. Really? We've got Captain Obvious over here. What am I supposed to do with a teddy bear? Huh? There's got to be a gun here. Ooh. X-ray of one of the patients here. There is no information about who it belongs to or what, it or what the disease is. We'll have to be a doctor to be able to interpret this. Thankfully, we are no doctor. So how do we get out of here? I mean, right now we're- Oh, I got enough! What the- f this woman? What are you talking about? Are, are we supposed to have other people in this simulation? Shit, it sounds like I lost her. Uh-uh. Okay. Hold on. What is this? An antique pocket watch. Must have belonged to one of the old professors working at the hospital. A lockpick. Might try to open one of the chests with this. Okay, good. I'll add that to our inventory. Insignificant papers. A random pile of pen. Why do they make me interact with random stuff? Like, if it's not important, give me like one, but you're giving me like 15 to one ratio! A 15 to one ratio! From significant to insignificant shit! I s ah! No, no, fuck! 
I'm gonna refill that shit. <sighs> what the hell is this? Then <gasps> is definitely off here. I swear to God, my ears are freaking sweating. What the hell is that? How does that even work? Now the door is closed. Okay, I could have sworn that door was opened. All right, so should we go? I'm going to go back over here to open up the chest. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is getting all sorts of weird. Um, yeah, shit, it's locked. We're going back here. We're going to go ahead and unlock the, the chest, hopefully. How do we do this? Slightly rotate the lock pick and try to push the lock on the correct spot. Well, that's pretty cool. The first lock pick. Ooh, we've got some evidence. Patient report. Include information about the patient's conditions and diseases. It also includes a brief co uh, commentary from the doctor. How can I open this up? Hmm. Kyle Mason. As a result of the examinations, the patient was diagnosed with chronic schizophrenia. Really? With this current situation, the health board anonymous, unanimously stated that the, he lacked the judgment of reality. Well, that's nice. A Carl? Is that you, Carl? All right. ah! What the fuck? Fuck, fuck. No! Why do I keep pressing inventory, man? This Whoa, like, I, where does game even come from? Yep, it's locked. Just what I thought. This is the toilet room. We've been here. Okay. It's getting a little dark. How much uh, fluid do I have? No, I still got a little bit. What is that sound? Oh boy. It is really dark here. Exit, exit, exit. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty nuts how when you run out of fluid or when you're running low on fluid, it gets excessively dark. Should probably, let me refill this up, bro. This is like torturous. You gotta be kidding me. I must be losing my mind here. Oliver, this is not an investigation. This. Yep, locked. Just what I thought. Hold on. Let's go back into the toilet room. Nothing here. Maybe I ought to turn off the light. Yeah. We're good. <laughs> We're gonna take the- Jesus. What the fuck was that? Man, these jump scares, bro. Like, loud ass sound effects. Like, if you didn't know, if you're new here by some chance, I play on full volume all the time. Help. What is this? Are you ready to play? <laughs> what? <gasps> what is happening? No, I'm not ready to play. <gasps> Why does my flashlight keep turning off? 
the heck? What is happening? These guys are playing with me, man. Uh-oh. Go right. Jesus, this place looks like a slaughterhouse. Hello? Please don't cry. All right, this is all insignificant. I don't even want to know what kind of experimental medication they gave to the people here. All right, let's see what we got here. Doesn't look like any of this stuff's gonna help me out. Sheep Industries continues. Newspaper was printed around the time of the happenings. There might be some sort of information in this that can help me understand the overall picture better. One of the nurses working in the hospital went crazy and caused the death of many babies. Police sealed the hospital after the murders. Police launched an investigation of the hospital. Many people were taken into custody. Okay. Well, that can be good. Please stop, please stop, please stop. Turn on the lighter. Ma'am, are you okay? Listen, I signed up for a horror game today, but not for all this nonsense. And I hate the fact that every time something comes up, my lighter turns off and I gotta manually turn that shit back on. I didn't ask, you see? Oh, smell. It smells like trash. Cause that's what this is. This is trash. Come here, boy. I mean, come here, girl. I ain't scared of you. You're just a nurse. And I'm about to put a candy ass whooping. Where are you at? Are you hiding behind them sheets? I don't know what I'm saying. I'm sorry. Okay, well, what's the deal here? Like, what do you want me to do now? You want me to caress you? You want me to tickle your toes? I mean... Ooh, what is this? More medicine, very insignificant. I just know that I feel like I'm gonna be going in circles here. I'm gonna turn around, that shit's gonna pop up and that's where I'm gonna lose it. I probably ought to turn off the lighter, huh? Hmm. Here we go. Password should be written down somewhere. A password. No, no. Turn on your lighter. Getting really, really dark here. June 2021. Well, that wouldn't be insignificant, right? June 2021. Let me try that. I mean, I've got nothing to lose. No. June would be six. And then I'll do two, one. No. It's gotta be on one of the walls. How's my lighter doing? See, it's not like I'm, I'm doing bad on the... Oh, 908. <laughs> Hello? Bro, what is this shit, bro? That thing is... <laughs> I don't like it here, bro. This is bad. This is really freaking bad. 908. Oh. We've got a gun. 
Oh, a revolver. This is a standard police gun, so we should be fine. I'm a detective after all. So the gun who's... Uh, the guys who came here might have left it here. The gun is also very popular amongst the folk living here. So it might have a... Yeah, let's, let's just do this. We got this. Oh, well, you're fucked. You stinking little nurse. Can you come here and trying to rattle rattle me up? Not happening. Hmm. This is where the bullet was. Perfect. 1981 Wesson Magnum. Standard issue police gun. Carried by a lot of officers around this area. Explains the 357 bullet I found earlier. I have one of these babies as well. Good, so you should know how to use it, right? Ay, Dios mío. Me cago en la mierda. So, Oliver, you wanna... You wanna pull out your gat? Perhaps, pal? No? We can't use it? <laughs> it's, it's evidence, bro. He's using the gun as evidence. It's got literally bullets inside. And he's not pulling out the gun. Bro. This game is crazy, man. Like. That should be illegal. That should be illegal. They just threw her on the screen like that. I am so surprised I didn't scream. I felt it in my in my soul. But I'm pretty proud of myself for not screaming at that. We've come a long way here on the channel with horror. We ain't scared. We prepared. What the fuck is going on in this fucking simulation? Shit, the light's going low. Need to refill the lighter. This is the same place. Keeps circling around now. It's like one goddamn maze. Mm. Huh. You figured, huh? You figured as much? My lighter should be full, right? Yeah, I just refilled it up. All right, I'm starting to find out that uh, we don't really have a whole lot of fluid left. I think we've got one, two more. Oh, boy. Keep walking around. The key must be somewhere around here. One plus one plus one equals two. Two plus two equals four. There's a key right here. Director's office. Perfect. More fluid. Perfect. More fluid. Very generous. Okay. All right. You know what? We're just gonna leave that there. We're gonna let it be. The fuck is that? The key must be somewhere around here. I got the key, man. What are you talking about? We just picked up a key. All right, so this is direct. That's not the director's office, then. Yeah, shit, it's locked. Nah, locked. This game is very well done, and honestly, the atmosphere is just ridiculous. This is the director's office. Got a teddy bear there. Ooh, hold on, there's more. What do we have over here? A dead end. Spooky. Nice. Hello? More lighter fluid, do not mind. If I do. Interact. Lots of books in this place. Another clock with Roman numerals. More insignificant shenanigans. Well, we've got a chessboard. How fun is that? It's an old book. It looks like uh, to be pretty old with the leather cover. The number of antiques I see around amazes me. Really? That's what you're thinking about right now. Antiques? It's an old book. It looks like something that's pretty old with leather cover. The number of antiques amazes me. You said that already. And we've got a punishment cell key. What the actual crap is this? We now know that this is the director who was the smoker. And he's got a really weird drawing over there. Not suspicious at all. We've got a court paper. 
torn piece of paper. This is the police department document. I say something about this case related to drugs, but I cannot tell what it is. Shit, this scene is so contaminated. There's police shit everywhere. So this paper will only make sense when I find the missing piece. I have a feeling this director had something to do with the torturing of the kids in this in this hospital. Ooh. Uh, I need to find a password. Okay, so maybe. Oh, B E G, beg. Perfect. So we're gonna go here. So we're gonna do beg. Hmm. It's gonna be three, seven, three seven two. Let's see. Let's see if my my gamer IQ really works. Only a gamer could do something like this, man. Come on. Ooh, evidence. A knife. Very cool. Oh, a fingerprint. <gasps> The fingerprint can reveal the identity of the murderer. I need to find the fingerprint. Record. Fingerprint on the knife. I can try to match you using the hospital records. I'll find out who you are soon enough. Oh, this is a heartbreaking uh, picture to see, especially thinking about the horrific things that went around in this hospital. Keep going. So now we're headed into the torture room. Right? That's where we're going next. Torture room was... Was this the torture room? This is the torture room. This doesn't look like a torture room. I need to find gas. Are we low? Yeah. Medication and significance. More medication. This place gives me the chills. As per usual. Okay, there we go. Okay. Ooh. Evidence of fingerprints. Foster. Uh, it doesn't match with this one. His name is Travis Foster. His fingerprint does not match with the one I found on the knife. But I should keep the fingerprint with me just in case. Hmm. More records. Pathology result of the papilolectinia was determined as a large cell neurondocrine tumor. Hmm. Advanced bone resorption. From endocrine to the medical oncology patient, it is detected to have clinic papilla tumor or ERCP performed in another hospital center. The pathology results of papilla, pa, papilla electemia, whatever, was determined as a large cell uh, neuro, neurodocrine tumor uh, chemotherapy is planned after seeing the PETCT for distant. Uh, okay. There's a I lot want here. I know what kind of experimental medication they gave to the people here. There is a lot happening. Okay. Who are these guys? It's just weird, man. Trying to distract me from the task at hand. Ooh, a lot of pills. I don't even want to know what kind of experimental medication they gave to the people here. Okay, the Hey, hey, wait. Where'd the door go? That's exactly what I said, man. I'm telling you. They're playing with us. There are no doors here. Ah! What the f- My phone just- ah! Bro, my phone just rang at the same- I can't even make- You can't make this up. Look, literally, my phone, my watch vibrated as soon as that shit happened. Hello? Hello? Hey. Yeah. Nemo was trying to call you to thank you, but I just 
Yes, I see you. I see you too. What? What sort of mind games are you playing with me, witch? Oh god. Oh my god. Hello? I don't know what to do here. There's the door. What the? Okay. What the heck? I'm gonna refill the lighter fluid. doing that don't oh there's it bear god damn it is that like the computer the simulation letting me know hey teddy bear you know warning warning an old damaged teddy bear partially dismembered this place is like a living hell flying bears I'm still, I still can't get over the fact that my phone rang and my watch vibrated on my wrist at the same time. I, like, I can't even, I can't even fathom to imagine that. That's like one, that's crazy, bro. You can't scare me anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm already numb to all this nonsense. Absolutely numb to it. I'm numb to it. But you see, now coming back to the hospital, I don't know. I'm, I'm not so sure anymore. Let's go back. Out there. <laughs> Fuck. I don't even want to know what kind of experimental medication they gave to the people here. Maybe I'm not so numb to it. One plus one equals two. Two plus two equals four. Okay. Got it. Oh, this shit is locked. Okay, open. Yep. Locked. Self-opening doors. Thought. Nothing quite like it. You know? Where are we at, fam? Where the fuck did that door go? There was a door right here. We're gonna have to stop this psychological bullshit. I hate how the lighter turns off. I mean, I get it. You know. That's a pretty picture. <laughs> oh, fuck. Dude. Here we go. Whoa. The dad. Dear Lord, this is messed up. Psychology Clinic, Dr. Elizabeth Seraph. 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 What? Seraph. Okay, so do not be late to your appointment, darling. This might be somebody I, uh, somebody I connect with later on, so I better keep it with me. Vision Medicine Company, Charles Olive. I feel like there's some papers there, huh? Okay, let's go. Let's go left.
nothing but a dead end on the left. I should have probably gone right. That was the uh, direction of the soccer ball. But that's okay. Everything's gonna be just fine. It's just a door, it's just a game, and it's just a simulation within a game. So it's technically a simulation within a simulation video game. Okay, listen here, darling. All right, we're gonna need you to calm down. We're gonna need you to relax. Shit is not normal. What the fuck? Yo, she's getting closer, bro. <laughs> she's getting closer. Get the, get me the fuck out of here. Goodness gracious! Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're doing just fine. There it goes again. Up the door. This place is like a damn labyrinth. We see rats. Oh, there she is. That's wonderful. Okay, well, that's probably not the direction which we should be heading. Head to the exit. Expect the unexpected. In three, two, one. She's gonna be behind me. Why is this game making me go towards her? Look at those portraits, bro. What the heck is that, man? Like, bro. Fuck out of here, man. This is probably using AI, to be honest. I guess we're going back. <laughs> I guess we're going back. Oh God. Hold up. Oh my God, okay. I'm just gonna keep walking here. Hopefully this works. If not, we're gonna go through the middle section. This doesn't work either. I guess we're going to the other way where we came from. I need to find gas. We got gas. Don't worry about it, bro. We got gas, bro. Oh, never mind. Huh? There's the blood. And there's another one of these. I got this strange feeling like I've been here before. Okay, how about we stop banging on the doors? That's solid wood right there. That shit's expensive. Hey, 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 hey. Calm it down. Bro, what the heck is happening? This is for sure one of those psychological... It is considered a psychological horror game, but... Don't play with me. That better not be a little girl. Oh, fuck off, bro. I can't even back away. Look at the feet. Look at the toes, girl. Girl, some nasty ass toes. Don't do that. Please. <laughs> don't. Don't do that. 
Don't do that. You don't want to go there. Open the fucking door. Open the door. Get out of here, man. What do you want? All right, can we end this chapter already? Can we just go back to regular? I I'd rather be in the hospital. I'd rather be inside the hospital. We're back in the hospital, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't even want to deal. Let me get some more fluid. Thank gosh. All right, let's, let's close that door. Leave that chapter behind. Lots of books. <laughs> okay, we've got. Ooh, here we go. And so Defson. Is it you that I'm looking for? I don't think so. Doesn't match. All right, well, we're good. Let's go here. Wow, this game is really uh, pretty freaking good, man. This is a seven dollar game. This was. I want to know what kind of experimental medication they gave to the people here. All right, these are some of the scans. Another clue. Oh, poor kid. Fucking bullshit, man. I don't even want to know what kind of experimental medication they gave to the people here. Uh, let's throw away the dirty syringes. Don't need that. Can't open any of this. So I think we're good. Now, for example, the journal. Oh, case analysis. Here we go. Evidence. So this is everything. As he keeps kind of uh, finding things, you keep updating it. I found x-rays of a baby patient. I don't know how much about, uh, I don't know much about the x-rays, but it is clear that the patient has some sort of a disability. It seems that uh, this hospital had a very large uh, pediatrics department. There are toys all around and uh, something about this boy makes me think uh, he had a very special situa situation. His family and this child must have had a very difficult life. Fingerprints, patient reports. Uh, fingerprints, patient reports, and now this. I don't know what all this means. I have not spoken uh, to anyone for a long time, and my anxiety level is increasing. Okay, so maybe we ought to keep coming back to this journal entry. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to do that for sure. There's the teddy bear again. Signifying yep, horror. Locked. Just what I thought. Pediatricians department. Oh, what are you doing? What the fuck is this, man? What are you... What are you doing? Why? Yep, locked. Just Why? I thought. Why? Okay. Oh God! Self-opening doors. Huh. Just what the order? Uh, what the doctor prescribed? I can't even talk. I'm sorry. It's okay. We're not here to talk. We're here to get scared. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Fuck is ah! <sighs> 
for how long is this game? Can we just... Might have to cut this into multiple m m multiple parts. Maybe part one and two and then finish it off. I don't know. I'm going to keep playing just a little more, but... I'll tell you what. I don't want to keep playing for much longer because this is just bullshit. I... I hate when things crawl at you, bro. Like, that's one thing I don't fuck, especially in tight areas. I don't like that at all. Six years of illness. There is one previous hospitalization. Describes frequent reoccurring attacks. Here we go. So another patient report. Cooper Steller. This patient looks like a dangerous type. It looks like he gave a hard time to the people here. He must have harmed other patients here. But could he have gone as far as uh, committing a murder? The chance of the the chance of the murderer being one of the patients seems very high uh, high right now. I must continue gathering information of these patients. I've been in simulation for a long time. I think I'm starting to have hallucinations. So I don't know why. If I don't know how long I can continue the investigation, my senses of reality have begun to fade. I hope Liz gets back soon. You well, you can keep on dreaming, pal. Yep, locked. Just what I thought. Oh my god. Oh god. What is this, bro? Come on, man. This is a true psychological horror game, bro. Like, there is a lot. <laughs> I mean, I gotta laugh it off at this point, because this is just bullshit. What do you guys want to do, bro? What do you want to do, bro? What do you want to do? Want to spin in circles? Oh, they're getting closer. No, I'm just kind of... I'm just going to look away here. Slap your shit out of me. And left. We were left for dead. Yep. Locked. Just what I thought. I'm telling you, if, if they would have had a little bit... If they would add a little bit more sound effect to that lady popping up on us, it would be so, so, so scary. Like, beyond even imagination. Uh, locked. But when she pops up, suddenly there's no sound effect. So for me, it's good because I... You know, it doesn't truly terrify me. It's scary because it catches you off guard. But if you were to add just a little, just a little sound effect in there, boy, I'd, I'd shit my pants a long time ago. See, like that. Like, you see, just a little subtle, 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 subtle little sound effect. That's all it takes. Doesn't take much. You know? The atmosphere is ridiculous, bro. Oh, what is this, man? A ghost? Talk, we, we playing ghosts now? Huh. Oh, a clue. A tin can. A tin can box. Oh, the nurse room. <laughs> Welcome to the nurse room. Let's see what do we got here. Can I pick anything up? Oh, there we go. One day at a time. 51 days of recovery. Strange. I wonder if those medications actually work. <laughs> so they gave this batch to people who managed to quit alcohol after a certain period of time. I'm taking it with me as evidence because it may turn out uh, to have a significance later down the, uh, down the road. Uh, all these items have not brought me any closer to the truth so far. I'm circling back to where I was. I uh, started not to be able to Separate the places from each other. Everything seems to repeat. I don't know how long I've been here. 
Still no news from Liz. I'll go uh, all the way to the end and wait for everything to be disconnected somehow. This can be my only hope. I can't think of anything else. Well, that's a good way to put it. Let's talk about being uh, positively optimistic. What is this? X-ray, one of the patients. The nurse room. Here we go. Okay, that's two. That's three. Ooh. Should print matches with this one. But there's no name in the records. Has it been erased? Really? The fingerprint here matches the patient. The knife must uh, belong to this patient, but it doesn't have any information about the patient on it. I'm pretty sure someone is trying to hide something here. Having a fingerprint on the knives does not mean that he killed someone with that knife, but there is still an interesting situation here. Does the fingerprint belong to the one, to one of the patients whose reports I found earlier? Unfortunately, there is no way to know. I seem to be at, uh, at a dead end when it comes to fingerprints. The only positive thing I can take out of this situation is now uh, I'm sure that the uh, that a patient with a personal knife was staying in this hospital. But can it be that uh, one of the actual patients was a murderer? I don't know if I should be going back this way again. I, I don't know what's happening. Yep, locked. Just what I thought. Oh, we need to find a key for that thing then. Is that what it is? Maybe in the nursing room there's a hidden key somewhere? Oh, more clues. Here we go. There's no telling what I'm staring at right now. Might be a cure for cancer or some sort of virus that brings people back from the dead. Hmm. So as I guessed, I found one of the experimental drugs given to the patients here. The drug is not govern uh, government approved. It seems to be used in the treatment of a bad habit such as smoking and alcohol. I don't know what this content is. They have produced a medication package insert of this uh, insert of this drug. I can learn more about the medications once I find it. Now I have a considerable amount of evidence, but uh, the biggest piece of the puzzle is still missing. All of this weird stuff has to be something to do with this case. Oh my god, that freaking teddy bear. Alright, so I think now we can head out. Right, now we can go this way, yeah. See, okay, now that's opened. There it is. <laughs> oh, fuck me. What was that sound? Yo, please, don't do this. Come on, man. Not right now. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Ooh. Medication package inset. Alcohol de addiction. Addiction. Yeah, it's working. Bro, hold on. Because I guess I found one of the experimental drugs given to the patients. Okay, nothing happened. It has not been registered. Sir! Are you the one that's been killing shit here? These poor children! That's a bit oh oh my god this must have belonged to one of the child patients here play some sort of note once you start opening the, okay operating the pin or rotating the pin excuse me This 
supposed to belong to one of the children here. Unfortunately, it's broken. Or... Or LH. Oh, gosh. Alright, let's go find out what this is all about. Hold on, the journal has been updated. So, I found a music box at the hospital. Although I have uh, found children's stuff in this hospital before, this music box looks a little bit different from all the other objects I have seen so far. While all the other toys look worn and damaged, this item looks to be in a pretty good condition. It has initials on it, probably an object from outside of the hospital. It must have belonged to someone close to the patient or people working in the hospital. I have a feeling this is the object related to the event. I'd better take this with me. I think that's a good idea, Oliver. Ooh. Ooh, is this the other piece of the paper we've been looking for? <sighs> Wait a second. Is this my name? What? what? is this crap? Is this a joke, Liz? Do you think this is funny? I swear, if this is one big joke, you better tell me right now. When the police officer Oliver ha Hamilton, that's us, arrived at the scene to investigate the incident, it was determined by the teammates that... He was under the influence of alcohol and drugs after the situation Oliver Hamilton was dismissed from the police department. Of course, we are the murderer. <gasps> Could that be it? Shit. Hold up, I'll be right back. That would be some crap, man. Ooh. Okay, so it goes around. Let me just make sure it wraps around. Yes. Alright, so we should be good. Oh boy. Huh? No, no, this can't be real. This is just a stupid simulation. Really? I haven't done anything. Yo, what the fuck? It's very dark. <laughs> Oh, God. Whoa. Oh. Bro, that shit is so creepy, bro. What the fuck is that? That is so creepy. Oh, my God. Exactly what I needed. It's been a while. Well, there. That's, that's basically confir confirmation. This guy is a raging alcoholic. This bottle looks half empty. Someone should have been drinking from it. I want to finish the rest. Are you insane? Press E to drink. Oh no. Oliver, please. Cheers, mate. I want to turn on the fucking flash. I mean, lighter. I'm just going to keep drinking because... Okay, we can walk. I don't see anything. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're just very drunk. <laughs> oh, we've got a gun, dude. <gasps> what? Shut up, damn baby. No. <laughs> That's enough.
I want to get out of this damn place. What are you doing to me? All. Oh my god, bro. The fact that they're making me play as this guy. Bro, those are the most beautiful words that a man could ever hear, listen to. Those that that word right there, dad, that word, it is the most beautiful word ever. Like being a father is man. I can't even describe it. It's the best. The best. No, no this can't be real. It's just a stupid simulation. Psst. Oh, no, no, this can't be worth it. I'm coming, darling, don't worry. Bro, don't do this. I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm not even gonna try and shoot. <gasps> I'm on my way. I'm coming, darling. Don't worry. Okay. Is that? It's this way, right? Yeah. Oh, boy. I think we did end up murdering. Oh, my God. Can to relax? I'm not afraid of you. You can't hurt me. I haven't done anything. <laughs> oh, come on. Really? Shut up, damn baby. you doing man
and folks. We have a breaking news, country's one of the most closely watched criminal cases in 2022, against ex-police officer Oliver Hamilton. Today, on June 24, the jury has reached a verdict on the case. After ex-cop Oliver Hamilton was dismissed from the police department for his alcohol addiction, and after his wife committed suicide by jumping in front of a subway train, Hamilton began using illegal experimental drugs and substances. Officer Hamilton, who came to the point of losing his sanity due to the substance abuse and major depression, is known to have killed his own daughter. What is causing more turmoil amongst the society has become the involvement of the company destined to the case. Destined is a company known for the new generation punishment methods they are working on for murder convicts. Believing that prison sentences are insufficient, it serves a new punishment system. The company advocates to make convicts relive the guilt of their actions countless times and break their wills against committing any sort of crime. Meanwhile, conservative groups state this practice is unacceptable and that it would be trying to play God on mankind and says it is not a way to establish justice and peace in society. Groups already started protest against the Destined company. What? That's genius. Bro, dude, how is this an indie game? This is crazy. By the way, let's just... That was freaking crazy. Like, the idea of... He's got an Epic Games sweater on or something. The idea of, of using virtual reality to punish criminals is actually freaking insane and i think that that is perhaps worse than than life in prison you know um so unique like that's a really clever idea and 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 more so putting it into a video game you know but um i did not i mean i expected this to be pretty good based on like the graphics and screenshots i'd seen but it actually had a pretty pretty decent story and considering how many times i played these sorts of games where there's like a major plot twist where you are the, the the evil for some reason i just didn't expect it for this game i guess being in a simulation kind of threw me off and i didn't even think about that being a possibility but my gosh like that was that was awesome i guess nothing else comes after but we're gonna call it quits here guys thank you so much for watching again if you enjoyed it drop me a like i would really really appreciate it and uh, I'll catch you guys later.